Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I hope that you are all fine. I'm going to take the attendance right now. Uh, Jabir Kazem, present. Jabir Kazem. Good, good, good afternoon, doctor. Uh -huh, good, uh, good afternoon. Some, uh, some of the uh, students have trouble to get in the site, doctor. Okay, you know, I'm sitting at home and, you know, I haven't got any, you know, I'm not in contact with the university. I don't know what to do really uh, because, you know, I am holding the class right here. Uh, you have to pursue the issue with the head of the department, but of course, I'm going to talk to him tomorrow. But anyway, let me do my business right now. Can I okay, ask? Doctor, okay. Can I ask everyone to turn your uh, headphones off? And if you are present in class, please uh, announce your presence. Job uh, Ammar Jabir, present. Ammar Jabir. Uh, Salah Jabbar. Salah Jabbar. Not present. Uh, Haydar Jabbar, present. Haydar Jab Jabbar, not present. Ghasim Jalil, Ghasim Jalil, not present. Haydar Javad. You are now unmuted. Hey. Okay, thank you. Good evening to you. Sa'ir Javad, Sa'ir Javad, not present. Ibtisam Hamoudi, Ibtisam Habudi, not present. Uh, Mana Khalid, Mana yes. Khalid. Okay. Yes, good Thank evening, you. doctor. Good evening to you. Uh, Reza, Rami Reza, Rami Reza. Not present. Muhammad Riaz. Muhammad Riaz. Yes, doctor. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank to you so much, doctor. Raid thank Sattar. You so much. Thank you. Raid yes. Sattar. Yes, doctor. Just a okay. minute, please. Yes, thank doctor. you. Just how thank do you, you. do? Can okay. I with, yes, doctor. Can, can, I, can I talk with you? Uh, after you know, after I have taken the attendance, you can talk to me. Just a minute, doctor. Okay. Yes, doctor. I I I I, I apologize for the absence in the previous lecture because I travel in the capital of Iraq, Baghdad. The Berbos lab tests. I repeat, apologize for you. Okay, so you are going to be present in class from now on. Am I right? Yes, doctor. Okay, it is okay. It is okay. okay Mustafa doctor. Saad. Mustafa Saad. Yes, doctor. How are you? Okay, thank you very much. And you, Muslim Tullab. Muslim Tullab. Not present. Uh, Muhammad Ali Abdul Jalil. Ali Abdul Jalil. Not present. Ali Abdul Hussein. Ali Abdul Hussein, not present. Haydar Abdul Hakim, Haydar Abdul Hakim. Yes, Doctor Riaz, Doctor, I am here. Okay, thank you very much. Sumaya Abdul Sadi, Sumaya Abdul Sadi, not present. Sorry, Doctor, I am here. Sorry, okay. Doctor, good afternoon. Okay, good, good afternoon, afternoon Doctor. You. Good afternoon to you. Am, okay, thank you I very much. Tisham. I am Tisham Hamoudi. Okay, Ebtisam yes. Hamoudi. Okay, let me find yes. your name. Okay, yes, I found it. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank Doctor. You. Thank you. Nurul Huda Ali. Can you hear me, Doctor? Okay, who is this? I'm Sumaya. Okay, did I read your name? Okay, yes. yes. Uh, Sum Sumaya Abdul Sadi. Yes, Doctor. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, Nurul Huda Ali, if I am right. Yes, Doctor. Okay. Good Thank you. Did I read your name right? Nurul Huda Ali, Mahsan. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 
a use of Aude. Use of Aude. Yes, doctor. Yes, how are you? Uh, could, could you read your name again? Y yes, doctor. Yusuf Aude. Yusuf Aude. Oh. You are right. You are right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Zaina Fazil. Yes, doctor. Okay. How are you? you? Thank you very much. Muntazir Farhan. Muntazir. Yes, good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon to you. Murtaza Kamil. Murtaza Kamil. Yes, doctor. Good afternoon. How are good you, afternoon. doctor? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Ali Mohsen. Ali Mohsen. Ali Mohsen. Not present. Saif Muhammad. Saif yes, Muhammad. Yes, doctor. Okay, I'm here. Thank Thank you very much. Hassan Mahmoud. Hassan Mahmoud. Yes, doctor, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Uh, sure. Noor Mu'ayyid. Noor Mu'ayyid. Noor Mu'ayyid. Okay, yes, I think that. Okay, good afternoon to you, Noor Mu'ayyid. Hind Nazir. Hind yes, Nazir. Sir. Okay, yes, thank definitely. you. Rad Vahab. Rad Vahab. Okay. Sorry, so, Doctor. Uh huh, yes. Rad uh, Vahab is my husband. He has a problem with phone. Okay. Either you have problem or he has problem. You know, this happens every week. <laughs> okay, it is okay. It is okay. So I read everyone's name. Those who are absent are Ammar Jabir, Salah Jabbar, Haydar Jabbar, Ghasim Jalil, Sa'ir Javad, Rami Riza, uh, Muslim Tullab, Ali Abdul Jalil, Ali Abdul Hussain, Ali... Yes, doctor, yes, doctor, I'm sorry, I have a problem with one network. Uh, so I'm here name? now. What Muhammad is your name? Muhammad Ali Abdul Jalil. Muhammad Ali Abdul Jalil. Uh, Muhammad Ali Abdul Jalil. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Thank okay. you very much. Ali Abdul. Yes, okay. yes, Victor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who is this? Ali Abdul Hussein Hussein. Yeah, Abdul Hussein. Okay, Hussein. Ali, Ali Abdul Hussein. Okay, yes, I got your name. Thank you very much. And Ra'd uh, Vahab. Okay. Uh, Okay, has some problem getting in touch with this. Okay, so most of the students, as you see, are present, but a few students are absent. And I think that you have to make sure that you are participating in the class on a regular basis because I'm going to uh, take it into consideration when I'm giving, you know, your final grades. Okay, now one important point I want to mention right now yes. is that you are going to have. Yes. Uh, okay, please. Yes, please. yes, Doctor. Good afternoon. Okay. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry for it because I could get in, into the session because I have. Uh, a yes. in the sorry, you know, you are all talking at the same time, sorry. and I am getting you know desperately confused, really. I don't know what to do, but you know, if you can, just talk one by one. Who is going to talk right now? Who is going to talk right now? Thank you. Yes. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding. Ali Muhsin. Okay. Muhsin, let me find you. Okay, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I found your name. I found your name. Okay. I found your name. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sa'ir Javad, I found your name. I have marked you. Sa Ajwad Kavan. Ajwad Kavan. Yes. yes, yes, I found it. I found it. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. So, uh, please let latecomers know that if they are present in the class, they can let me know at the end of the class. Please, please do not interrupt me while the class is in process. Okay, now. Good. Okay. Could you, could you.
Okay, can I continue? Can I continue? Okay, first thing that I want to let you know is that you are going to have a midterm exam. Okay, it is on January 18th. Would you write it down? So you are going to have a midterm exam on January 18th. Can you hear me? So, yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes. Okay. Yes, we got friends. Yes. So I'm going to write it down. Midterm. Midterm. Okay, so it is wrong there because while I type it, you know, uh, the dialog box, you know, confuses everything. I'm sorry. So it is January 18th, 2021. You are going to have a midterm exam. The midterm exam includes everything that you have studied by the end of today. So the paper we are going to study today will be part of the midterm exam. So how many papers will you have? You have one paper by Colin, two papers by Seed House, and one paper by Waring. So you have got four articles to study conscientiously for your midterm exam. Yes, yes. So my Abdusade, yes, you are right. We have got four papers, including what we are going to study today. Okay, your exam is not going to be very difficult if you study hard enough. The questions will be sent to you either on webinar or I'm going to send that through WhatsApp. I've not made up my mind yet, but I'm going to let you know. You don't need to worry about the question. I'm going to get them to you when the time uh, comes through. Okay, so this is the uh, issue about your midterm exam. And don't forget to spread the word to your classmates if they are not present. If they are not present, please let them know. It is part and parcel of your responsibility. Next, okay, uh, uh, for the next session, uh, please, for the next session, I have uploaded a new paper. Can you make, can you uh, check right now if you can upload it? Is it possible for you to check whether you can upload the paper or not? Can you? Uh, nobody answers. Nobody answers. Can you? Yes, we got it, doctor. We got it. It's okay. found on. Uh, Mortiza. Who is yes, Mortiza. Mortiza. Uh, what is the name of the paper? What is the name of the paper? Just, just a few seconds, doctor. Uh -huh. uh, project. Uh, just a minute, please. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. just a minute. Uh, paper for forthcoming session. Forthcoming. Okay. What is the name of the paper? Can you can you see what is its name? Okay, okay, okay. a minute only. Let me just download it. Okay. okay. Take your time. Okay, okay. It's downloading now. I have okay. to wait. Okay, it's okay. Um, We've got a lot of time. You haven't found it yet? Yes, yes, doctor. I'm trying to connect and download it, but uh, it appears that there is a problem with connection. Maybe okay, how, it's a problem. How, how, how about the others? How about the others? 
Can you download it? Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Turn allocation patterns on. Very good. Very good. Very good. So if you got it, if you got it, please tell other classmates that you have got it. And if they have problem downloading it, please uh, send them to you. Send it to uh, send it to them. Thank you That's very all much. Right. I okay. will share it on WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You know, Murtaza Al Jaburi. I cannot find your name on my on my list. Jaber Kazim you mentioned my name, doctor. My name, doctor. Yes, yes, yes I do remember, but I suddenly, you know, lost it. I don't know where it is. Anyway, so uh, I'm unlucky. <laughs> uh, well, we. I have got Mortiza Kamel Abd. It is not you, Muhammad Rahi Mohsen. Okay. What is your family name again, uh, Mortiza? Abdu Abdu Rabbihi Abdu Rabbu Abdu Rabbihi Oh my god I Sorry it. doctor Yes how are you well, Good afternoon my name is Tar Jawad Sa'ir Jawad Yes I, I uh, frankly I am present from the beginning of the session but some problem uh -huh. uh, I couldn't hear uh, you that uh, when you mention my name did I mention your name? Yes, you 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 mentioned me, but uh, we have problem with the microphone, so okay. I I couldn't answer yes. Okay, so let me yes. see. Uh, Jabber uh, Ammar Ammar Jabber is absent. Salah Jabbar is absent. Haydar Jabbar is absent. Qasim Jalil is absent. Haydar Javad is present. Ah, Sa'ir Javad. Sa'ir Javad, yes. Yes, Sa'ir Javad. Thank you. Yiptisam Hamoudi present. Mana Khalid present. Rami Reza absent. Muhammad Riyaz present. Ra'id Sattar present. Mustafa Saad present. Muslim Tullab absent. Ali Abdul Jalil is present. Ali Abdul Hussain present. Haydar Abdul Hakim present. Sumayya Abdusada present, Nurul Huda present, Yusuf Oda present, Zaina Fazal present, Muntazar Farham present, Murtaza Kamil present, Ali Muhsin present, Saif Muhammad present, Hassan Mahmoud present, Nur Muayyad present, Hind Nazi present, Ra'ad Vahab present, Murtaza, I cannot find your name, where is your name then? I, I don't know, doctor. I don't know, actually. I was a, I was a president from the first session. Yes, but you but 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 you said that I read your name. Did I read your name? Yes, yes, Murtava Kamil. Yes, Murtava oh, Kamil. Murtaza Kamil. Uh -huh. So yes. it is written here, Murtaza Al Jaburi. Yes, yes. It is my nickname. Uh -huh. It's the tribe name. It's tribal oh. name. It's tribal okay. Name. Okay. Sorry about okay. that. Okay, you know. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your present, for being on time yes, in class. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes, yes. Who is this? Yes. Ra is that yes. Dar? Can yes. I do? Yes, yes. Haider Jawad, doctor Haider Jawad, trying to enter the session. Can uh, he cannot uh, enter? Okay, what can I do oh, for him? Me. Call, call me now. Call me now. Haydar uh, Javad, you mean Haydar Javad is trying to? Haydar Javad, Kavan. Okay, yes, yes. I have marked him present. I have marked him present. But anyway, anyway, you know, every time I'm taking the attendance, I have to spend a lot of time, and it's really exhausting. You know, I want to ask everyone to be uh, to be in class in time so that we do not spend an inordinate amount of time on doing this Sam don't forget about it and don't forget about downloading the paper for our next session today's se today's session is this paper as you can see 
responding artfully to student initial you can see is the introduction it is a very informative very interesting introduction about this paper well can anybody tell me about the introduction to the paper anybody okay uh Mortiza Kamil, are you there? You know, because I have memorized your name, I'm going to call to you on a regular basis and you have to answer all the questions. Today, we are going to start with you. Okay, can you tell me something about the introduction to the paper? What does it argue? Mortiza, I'm waiting. Yes, yes, doctor, yes. Okay. Yes, I've got actually a simple and a quick view about it because uh, actually I had something, a trouble today and I didn't mention in details, didn't mention or read the paper in detail. You are but going I... to lose grade on this. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so, doctor. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Yes, doctor, yes. I uh, have a simple information or introduction about this. Uh, let me tell you a very simple thing, doctor. Uh, okay. There is, there is uh, an, an, an uh, let me say, some modification or transformation from the usual trajectory in the classroom. So the teacher here tries to use irony teasing in the class, for example. No, makes... more is up, more is up, more is up. Listen to yeah. me, listen to me, listen to my question, answer my question. What is argued in the introduction? Not anything else. Just tell me about the introduction. What does the introduction say? Yes, uh, to, my, to make students participate and activate them. This is mm. the, the main task, I think. No, well, I don't. Okay, if anybody wants to answer. Oh, uh, who is this? Uh, Heydar Javad. Okay, Heydar, your number is five. Remember that, okay? Your number is what? Five. Okay, you can. You can, when you want to answer, you have to say, "I am Haydar Javad. I'm number five. I can find your name on my list immediately." And Mortiza, you are number twenty-two. Remember that, Haydar Javad. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, hey, Dad Javad. Uh, hey, Dad Javad. What you are not answering my question again. You are talking about other parts of the paper, but I want you to focus on the introduction only. What does the introduction say? This part only, and the next part. Uh, and this part. Okay, alignment. What you? What do you mean by? What do you mean by that? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, but, well, thank you very much for your uh, interesting answer, but well, I'm afraid your answer has nothing to do with the introduction. Can somebody else step in to tell me what he or she has understood from the introduction? Anybody? Yes, doctor. Uh, who is this? I am Mona Khalid. Mona Khalid. Let me find your yes. name. Mona Khalid. What is your Rawi. last name? Rawi. Uh, okay, well, well, I don't understand. Okay, you know, it takes a lot of time. Let me tell your. Uh -huh. Okay, just a moment, just a moment. I'm sorry if. 
Oh, I don't find it. Again, Jabber, Amor Jabber, Salah Jabber. Hello, Victor. Just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. Okay. Victor, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Amor. Amor Jabber. Sorry, come late because the not is very bad. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. But can I find your name? You know, I please uh, can I ask everyone who was trying to answer my question? One of the ladies in the class don't want to answer the question. Who was that? Yes, doctor. I am Mona Khalid Ravi. Uh, Mona Khalid Ravi. Let me find your name again. Mona Khalid Ravi. Where is your name? Oh, my. Okay. Uh, yes, Mona, you are number eight. Okay, will you remember yes. it? Okay, so you are number yes, eight. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, um, yes, the main important point in introduction, the teachers uh, should make a balance, a difficult balance between uh, oh, their uh, roles. Uh, their roles as uh, a control in the class and uh, uh, the students uh, to uh, encouraging them to participate in the uh, classroom activities. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Very good, very good, uh, Mana Khalid. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very doctor. much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is the argument in the introduction. You know, uh, the introduction argues that it is the teacher's primary responsibility to strike a balance between control and participation. Control means that, you know, the teacher has to keep the class, you know, quiet enough so that the pedagogical focus is accomplished. You know, if the class is out of control, you cannot uh, obtain your pedagogical focus. Possibly you are going to get behind or fall behind in your uh, schedule, in your assignment. And at the same time, the paper argues that, well, the teacher has to give enough opportunity to the learners to participate in the classroom so that, you know, they can develop their fluency, they are unable to express their personal meanings. In the control, it means that it is like form and accuracy context. The teacher's primary responsibility is to upgrade, if you remember, the learner's interlanguage or accuracy. But by participation, the teacher wants to uh, give them opportunities to develop their fluency. So the class has to be a blend of control and participation not too much control not too much participation it has you know the teacher has to strike a balance a balance between control and participation if the students in your classroom are always talking in english participating in different activities they are talking together you know, it is very good. It's very good. It is a very encouraging sign. But if you don't have any control, if you cannot get round to your pedagogical focus, possibly you are going to get into trouble because you have got a book to cover. So the introduction says that, okay, the balance is a necessity. You cannot forget about it. You cannot say that because I'm so much keen on fluency, I'm going to totally forget about accuracy. No, this is not what a teacher, you know, this is not what a teacher does in the classroom. Okay, well, I know that some of you are teachers and you are teaching in different schools or various institutes. I think that in the institute, well, again, you have to strike this balance. You have to teach students. You have to pursue your pedagogical focus. And at the same time, you give them ample opportunities to converse. So, yes, uh, 
Khalid, uh, Mana Khalid was absolutely right. Yes, absolutely right. She said that the introduction is arguing about this balance and uh, control. Okay, there is a very good sentence here. You know, I'm going to read it for you. Okay, now I'm going to read it from uh, the beginning. Okay, half through the paragraph. It says, much has been written about the structure of classroom talk that embodies teacher control over topic initiation, topic development, and speaking rights. Although few have explicitly articul articulated the necessity of such control, the teacher concern for social order, okay, look at the word social order, is more of a means to an end, a utilitarian stance adopted for the practical purposes of achieving educational objectives. So, this is what I've been talking about. So, this paper is talking about, you know, a teacher, number of teachers, who managed to strike a balance in the classroom between control and participation. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the review of literature. It is very interesting. We have got a very good paragraph here. I want everyone to concentrate very much on this paragraph because this paragraph is going to be used when uh, the authors are explaining about the transcripts, okay? Now, can somebody read it for me, please? This paragraph, this is a very, very important paragraph. I cannot overstate it. Okay, can anybody read it for me, this paragraph? This paragraph. Okay, doctor, can I read, please? Uh, yes, Mortiza yes. Al-Jaburi, Mortiza Al-Jaburi. Yes, I'm not very happy see. with you, okay? You know, Mortiza told me that he is going to read it first after that you uh, appeared on my page. Mortiza, I'm not very happy with you today because you said that you didn't study this paper <laughs> conscientiously. You know, I am a bit, I'm a bit upset. Okay, anyway, but can you read it loud and clear, loud and okay. clear, this paragraph? Okay. Okay, doctor. Okay, no problem. Mm. Yes. Uh, since Goffman's 1981 participation framework is so invoked at various points during our analysis, a brief expl explication is in order. Oh, just According a moment, just a moment, just a moment. Do you know the meaning of invoke? Do you know the meaning of invoke? Yes, and internalized. Uh, no, no, no. Invoke oh. means use. Use. Okay, Sorry. go ahead. Go ahead. Very good. Thank you very much. According to Goffman 1981, heroes within the perceptible range of an utterance can take on a number of rules. Addressed ratified hero. Uh, an unaddressed ratified hero. Over hero and evaced a vase dropper, a vase dropper. The vase later, dropper. yes, yes, yes. The later two are uh, two are also referred to as bystanders. Uh -huh. While the Goffman 1981 writes, a change in footing implies a change in uh, the argument we take up to ourselves, and the others present are expressed in the way we manage the production or reception of an utterance. Re re relatedly, a dominating conversation is one conducted among ratified participants, example in our data, students participating in the ongoing class activity. And side play refers to respectfully hushed words exchanged among bystanders. Students disengaging from the ongoing activity and engaging in side talk among... Very good. Thank you very much. 
I think that, you know, this paragraph that you read is really difficult to understand, but I think that if you concentrate on it for a second or two, you're going to figure out what it says. But I'm going to elaborate on this when we are talking about the transcript. So I want everyone to study this paragraph on a regular basis, discuss this paragraph between you. And if you have got any problem with this paragraph, you can ask me later on. Okay, we are going to move fast to the transcript. Okay, we are going to move fast to transcript. Okay, now, what does this paper want to say? He says that, you know, uh, he says that we have found, you know, the writers, I mean, they have said that they have uh, video recorded a number of classes and they have found that there are a number of teachers that they have recorded, video recorded, I mean, they manage to strike a balance between control and participation. And uh, you know, the writer found two ways of doing this. Doing what? A striking a balance between control and participation. One is called respond with ironic teasing, and the other one is invoke learning orientation. So we have two categories for striking a balance between this and that in the classroom and remember that this balance is going to be beneficial to the learners in the classroom okay so let's look at the first one respond with ironic teasing respond with ironic teasing well uh, are we clear about the meaning of teasing do you know what it means teasing tease don't tease me Yes, it's uh, angry, Doctor. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we are going to concentrate on this short transcript. It is a very interesting transcript, and look how the teacher strikes the balance in this. Okay, I'm going to read it for you a bit quickly. I want everyone to direct their attention to this short transcript. So we have got teacher T1, L. One means learner one, LL means many learners, and May is one of the students. Okay, now look at the teacher. The teacher says, Z, sounds like a Z, okay. And what does this mean? What does this mean, May? Views. So the teacher is asking who? The teacher is asking May. Can you see this? Can you see this? Yes. So the, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, okay. So the teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. So the teacher, okay, is asking a question. Okay. He's asking May a question. But look what happens in the transcript. Okay. You remember in the previous, in the previous uh, paragraph, we had something about the participation framework. Okay, this is very important expression that you have to remember. It says that we can have addressed ratified hearer, unaddressed ratified hearer, overhearer, and eavesdropper. Okay, now let's go back to this one. So, who is, okay, so the teacher is asking a question. He's asking a vocabulary question. He's asking May. Okay, look. So May is what is, tell me, is, is what? Silent. Silent. No, 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 no. Ratified hearer. Very good. He is the addressed ratified hearer. Who answered me? Who answered me? Let's address me. I mean, Tisam. Uh, Ibtisam? Okay, just a moment. Ibtisam, let me find Ibtisam's name. No, no, me, Sumaya. Sumaya. Is it Ibtisam or Sumaya? Sumaya. Sumaya. 
both of us <laughs> me. I asked a question. Okay. Okay, Sumaya, you are number 17. Will you remember it? Sumaya, you are, you are number yes. Yes, 17. Number 17. Yes. And 17. yes, yeah, Ibtisam, you are number seven. Yes. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, you know, if you say that I'm Ibtisam number seven, I can find your name immediately on my list and I can give you a good grade for your participation. Yes, Sorry, you. you know, I'm an old man. I cannot remember your name very easily. I apologize to you. Thank you. Okay, now let's go back to uh, the dialogue. Okay, so the transcript I'm in. Okay, can you turn your headphones, your microphones off? Okay, so going back again, going back. Okay, I said that this paragraph is so, so important, very, very important. Okay, please study it again and again. As one of the students said, we have got addressed, ratified hearer. Morteza, are you there? Morteza, are you there? I'm completely listening to you. Okay, okay. Now I am asking everyone if I say, Morteza, are you there? Morteza is what? Address ratified hearer or unaddressed ratified hearer or over here? Address, address, address ratified. Okay, very good. So when I say Murtaza, Murtaza become address ratified hearer. And how about the other students? Who are they? Unaddressed ratified hearer. Very good. Very good. Unaddressed ratified here. So you have to be very clear about this. And who is eavesdropper? Can, can somebody tell me who is an eavesdropper? An eavesdropper is a person who is not in the class, okay? Okay, for example, we are, suppose that, you know, you are in class, uh, in a real class, and I'm talking to you and somebody is walking past my class and he can hear me. He is what? He is an eavesdropper. He is, you know, he is not, he is not, he is not. Sorry, doctor, you mean he is out the, outside the class, right? Outside the class and I don't allow him to listen to me. But an overhearer, okay, an overhearer is just somebody who is passing by and he can hear me. Okay, you are going to study it yourself and possibly you are going to understand it well because there is nothing enigmatic about it. Let's go back to this dialogue again. So, uh, the teacher is teaching something and he has come across a difficult vocabulary item and he is asking me. So as you say, uh, uh, May is the address ratified here, here. How about the other learners? Can you tell me how about the other learners? Who are they here in this? Unaddressed un 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 ratified. Very, very good. Unaddressed ratified here. So the teacher is directing the question to May, but look what happens. Okay, May doesn't answer. May doesn't answer. You see, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, okay? It means that there is a period of silence, but it is hearable by the learners. Because May doesn't answer, suddenly all the other students answer. They are unaddressed, ratified hearer. And look what the teacher does. Remember, remember, just a parenthetical statement. We are analyzing the extract here to see how the teacher strikes a balance between what, tell me, between what? Address and unaddressed to the higher heroes. No, 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 not that. Thank you for your answer. Thank you. Okay, we are between, between participation of the other students. No, between participation and what? Participation control. Control. Very good, control. very good. Don't forget it. 
don't forget it don't get bogged down in the details we are going to see how the teacher manages to strike a balance we are not going to say okay whether it is a good dialogue or not a good dialogue we want to see how the teacher does that okay so let's go back you know i just wanted to remind you so if you look at it, you see that, okay, in line 35, you see that May, who is the address ratified here, he does not provide the answer. And suddenly, all the students in chorus answer, refuse, reject, and look. So instead of May, who answers? They are the unaddressed uh, ratified here. And look at the teacher. The teacher is so, so experienced. And he provides an amazing answer in this. Look at how the teacher deals with this situation. You know, what you see here is, is it participation or control? Okay. Think about the question again. So the teacher asks a question. The student doesn't answer. Other students step in to provide the answer. Do you think the teacher is dealing with control or participation? Answer me. Uh, participation. participation. Very good. Very good. Yes, absolutely. You know, the teacher has to deal with participation. It's sort of a disorderly participation. The teacher doesn't like it very much because he has, you know, a target of the question, address the question to May. Now, look, the teacher says, okay, May, you know, the teacher is looking at May now. The teacher says, okay. You have many voices, so it is what? Responding with an ironic teasing. The teacher is teasing May, okay? The teacher is teasing May, and at the same time, he is gently scolding the other students for their unruly behavior. Am I clear? Okay, listen again. Listen again. The teacher is looking at May because May did not supply the answer and the teacher is a bit dismayed about it. So, he looks, he looks at May in the eyes and says, May, you've got many voices. So, in a sense, the teacher is bringing in a bit of control here. The teacher says, May, it is your responsibility to answer me if I ask a question uh, from you. And he's telling the other students that if they are not the ratified, if they are not the address ratified here, you are not allowed to step in and to provide the answer. Look, the teacher does not fly off the handle. He does not hit the ceiling. He doesn't get angry, okay? He deals no, with the kidding. situation very gently, in a, in a way, in a gentlemanly manner. Am I clear? Did you get the point here? Are you yes. sure? Are you sure? I'm not sure that you got it. No, okay. because who, who is answer, who is talking who is talking you know because many of you are on my screen right now i can't figure out who is talking rami is it you? okay let me find you. just a moment rami you are number nine will you remember it rami are you there oh he got disconnected Rami. sorry doctor i can't Rami, you know, you... Uh, I don't know about my number. Uh, it is number nine, Rami. What do you want to say about this transcript? Could you tell me again? Uh, again, that, you know, I, I think it's not... 
You know, I'm sorry, Romy, but I can't hear you. You get disconnected and I can't figure out what you are trying to say. Okay, hey, Dr. Javad Abdul Qasim. Uh, just, just, uh, just a moment. Let me find your name, Haydar Javad Abdul Qasim. Number five. Okay, yes, number five. Go ahead. Okay, so. Yes, yes, yes. He's gaining control over the class by redirecting the question to the student again. And at the same time, he is sort of criticizing other students for their sort of unruly, you know, answer because they were not the address ratified here. Okay. Any comments? Any comments? Yes, Doctor. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yes, who is who is talking? Yes, the uh, Ali Mahsan Hamio. Uh, just a moment. Let me let me find your name, Mohsen. Uh, you are number twenty-three. Will you remember it? Twenty-three. Okay. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, may you have many voice. Uh -huh. The teacher makes evident the fact that May as a selected next speaker, Hamas. Uh -huh. Yes. Or, or uh, hasn't yet answered it while the other. Yes. The, uh, this statement of irony it produced here. Yes. 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 You are right. Yes. You are right. Absolutely. Yes. Good point. Good point. Good Thank point. you. Thank you, Doctor. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, Doctor. Yes, Gossam, Doctor. Okay, just a moment, Gossam Jalil. Let me find your name. Okay, yes, Ghassam Jalil. Okay, I mark you absent, but now I mark you present. You are number four. Will you remember it? Yes. Okay, yes. yes. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, I'm so sorry for being late. It is it's the, okay. The problem with the net. It's okay. Do you want yes. to say anything uh, here about the, uh -huh. Yes. Yes, yes. Here the teacher, you respond with ironic teasing. Uh, he actually uh, don't get upset or angry and uh -huh. he didn't punish the other students for uh, the, their departures and uh, he want uh, to maintain a control in a good way and also to make uh, or to encourage the students to participate so this is a very important response and uh, we get very important idea about how to respond artfully to such uh, departures made by the students. Uh, one of the way it is the, to respond with ironic teasing, not get ups, upset or uh, to punish the students or uh, yell at them. Uh, this is, I think, uh, a good way to uh, to uh, respond to such departures. Very good, Rasa. Very good, Rasa. Very good. Very good. I like your answer. I like your answer. And I've written very good, Rasa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yes, sir. Yes, doctor. Yes, Ali Mohsen, number twenty-three. Yes. Yes. Yes, 23, yes. Uh, the teacher will make uh, ironic teasing uh -huh. uh, to make uh, the classroom more active and have more frequency. Very good, very yeah. good, very good. You know, uh, in a sense, you know, in, you know, the teacher wants to have very active students in the classroom. There is no doubt about it. But the teacher doesn't yeah. like other students to you know, sort of interrupt other students. You know, if you see at this, if you see this uh, extract very well, you see that the students are not, you know, behaving themselves quite well. Because, you know, when somebody, you know, when you are in a classroom and you are asking a student a question, that student is under a lot of pressure. So that a student has to have time to think about what he's going to answer. 
if other students, you know, suddenly interfere with the answer, you know, that a student, I mean, may, will get more frustrated, more anxious. So in a sense, as you said, the teacher wants to maintain control in the classroom, but at the same time, he doesn't want other students to stop participating in the classroom. He wants to have, you know, sort of a good, friendly cooperation in the classroom, not disorderly cooperation. Are you with me? Yes, 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 uh, okay. yes. Yes, oh, the, the, yes, the teacher control the topic in the Yes, yes, and look by, what by the by the uh, development. Yes, yes, or by by make chronic uh, teasing. Yes, you are right. Okay, absolutely. Yes, doctor. Yes, go ahead. Yes, doctor. Thank you. I'm Yusuf. Okay, Doctor. Also, in this extract, uh, the, uh, you are what you are. You are. You are. You are. You said. Yes, Yusuf. Yes, Oden. it is number nineteen. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yes, Doctor. Also, in ironic teasing, the the role of the of the teacher is to engage, uh, to pay attention to the learners, to conduct, to manage the class without regarding to to the present of the teacher actually and and the role of the teacher is to how to manage and give and the, the teacher's duty to give a construction direction to the student to uh, of how to participate yeah yes you are right yes you are right thank you very much okay mm -hmm. let me can uh, let me continue reading this extract because, you know, well, I appreciate your enthusiastic participation in class uh, conversation. I like it very much. You have lots of good comments. I really, really like it. Okay, but let's go ahead with this transcript to see what happens. Okay, so the teacher says, Z, sounds like Z, okay? And what does this mean, may, refuse? And other learners say, refuse, reject. And the teacher says, okay, may, you have many voices. <laughs> and he laughs. And look, the teacher says, may, what do you think? So he is giving the turn again to may. He is sort of ignoring other students, but he doesn't say that your participation is disliked. He doesn't say that. He likes students to be active, but he has to maintain, as one of you said, he has to maintain control in the classroom. And this time, May answers. It is not written here because it was not audible. So. He answers, and the teacher, okay, nods. Reject means deny, reject, turn down. So you see what happened? The teacher is not irascible. He doesn't fly off the handle. He's not angry, impetuous, or anything like that. You know, he manipulates, you know, the conversation so deftly. He, okay, when he asks the first question, uh, May didn't answer. Other students provided the answer. But the teacher did not pay very much attention to other students, but he did not sort of, you know, scold them, ignore them. And he turned round to May again to ask her the question. So this is a very good example of maintaining control in the classroom through responding with ironic teaching, uh, teasing, I'm sorry. So the teacher says, okay, May, you have many voices. In a sense, this is sort of a suggestion to other students that they have to keep a bit quiet when a question is asked from a specific student. Okay. If you have got anything to say, okay, I am I am all ears. If you haven't got yes. you know less okay, yes, go ahead. Yes, doctor. Yes. Yes, doctor. Yes, go ahead. Yes, doctor. 
the teacher knew that the teacher could have taken two other actions. He okay. could move on uh, 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 with the response, uh, uh -huh. with the use, or like, uh, I mean, teasing. This is the style, is direct or indirect. This one? Example, yeah, yes. Uh, what is your make the adult uh -huh. make the adult uh, the other people uh, uh, there is many many voices and all this uh, extract not uh, yeah, number three uh, number uh, thirty seven all the extract I talk uh -huh. about all the extract uh -huh. In yes. Uh -huh. Ali Mohsen, uh, you know, you yes. get disconnected. I couldn't quite figure yes. out what you saw. You are now unmuted. Yes, doctor. Uh, you are now muted. <laughs> What's my number first, doctor, if you don't mind? Uh-huh. <laughs> Just uh, my list. Uh, you know, you get disconnected <laughs> again. You know, I don't hear uh, you. Uh, can, can, you hear, can you hear me, doctor? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. I do. I do. <laughs> Just um, uh, I have already uh, asked you about my number in your list. Uh -huh. I, I, I didn't you, tell you. Tell you. Uh, I think it is two. Two Javad Sa'er. Two? Let me have. Let me have two? a look. Yeah. No, 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 no. Javad, uh, Javad number six. Oh, good, good number. Okay. I, I like oh. this number. <laughs> <laughs> First. <laughs> and, uh, here, the teacher, I think the teacher succeeded and and use a uh, good strategies. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, a good strategies by uh, directed the uh, the students to the pedagogical uh, pedagogical uh, tra tra uh, sorry strategies. Uh, you got disconnected again. Could, I'm sorry. Could, could, You got Yes, could you hear me, Doctor? Yes, yes, I do, I do. Okay. You get disconnected, you know. Yes, uh, that uh, he directed uh, his student that uh, uh, for the uh, uh, pedagogical uh, trajectories. Uh -huh. But do you uh, do you find there is uh, a subject? by using these strategies for the student uh, addressed uh, to uh, do you want do you by, want uh, uh, tell her you have yes do you want i didn't get your we question. have we have uh -huh. so we have we have maybe uh, i can see here we have a side effect on the feeling of the person who asked it and he didn't answer his question yes Yes, by tell her uh, you have many uh, voices. This uh -huh. maybe uh, come back to her to her feeling and maybe get frustrated. And this well, is effect on his uh, his performance uh, uh, later. Yes, yes, but remember, you know what? Have, if you look at the transcript, you can you know have another yes. take on it. You know because you know may knew the answer look because later on he provide she provided the answer and because yes. you know yes. he yes 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 doctor uh, we can say that we uh, in the line uh, 40 yes uh, we get the sense that it does uh, provide response which yes. uh, acted by the teacher in the next line before the opens uh, the f the floor of the rest of the class physically uh -huh. with the students. Yes. This is invitation to replay. Is invitation to replay line forty one and forty two. Yes. Yes, you are right. You know well. Uh, yeah. You yes. know. You, you know. I see. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anybody? Yes. Yes. yes thank you. Uh, in in uh, this uh, contrast. The teacher used good strategy to to attract the attention of the to the learner contact that doesn't align with the teacher. Mm. When he when he say yes, may yes, uh, because she uh, she doesn't align with with him. Yes, 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 yes. I do agree with that. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, yes. thank you very much. Yes, Morteza. Morteza, you didn't study the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still upset, Doctor, today or about me? <laughs> Go ahead, I'm go trying, ahead. I'm trying to modify my trajectory, please. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> give, me a, give, give me a chance, give me a chance, please. Doctor. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go doctor. Ahead. I think uh, as teachers, we can use such strategies to redirect the attention. So we use here the strategy of ratified hearer and an uh, addressed ratified hearer and unaddressed ratified hearer to re-motivate the class again, to rewake them again, to uh, increase their participation and controlling and maintaining the classroom. So we engage the two points or the two methods in one. We allow participation and we control in the class at the same time. It's a good strategy. Yes, okay, very yeah. good point. For a student who did not study this paper, it's a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Doctor, yeah. sorry, doctor. So how am I how how am I uh, providing the answer? My answer to Murtaza was respond with ironic teasing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Excuse me, doctor. Yes, go ahead. And th uh, this is Haider Jabbar. Just uh, sorry for being late because I used to have problem with my answer. Just a moment, Haider Jabbar. Let me let me find your name, Haider. Yes. Haider Jabbar. Haider Jabbar. Let me. Find your name. Yes, Jabbar, you are number three. Okay, number three. Doctor, I have a question here. Yes. The student here, they work under pressure or or they have a time or the doctor, uh, the teacher tried to make a uh, different way. Since they are working under pressure. Yes. So means that they have something to, to, to accomplish, right? Yes. So if that's, if the, the, the teachers want from them to do something like because they work in like under pressure. So he's trying to like break down the stress. That's that's what I'm like and uh, encourage the others, right? Okay, so what you are trying to say? I'm trying to say that the doctor, uh, since the teacher here, so uh, is that not really effect on the way of like, you know, the task itself? Or, or because he's gonna break, or we're gonna try to take them a little bit away. Does that affect on the, the test completion or not? Uh, Is that my point, you know, well, I didn't get quite well what you are trying to put across, me. Could you say it again? All right. So, mm. so I'll be. Uh, so I'm asking that: Is the student here working under pressure or not? This is the question. Uh, which one. student? You mean uh, the learners or May? I mean the learners. No, the learners are not under pressure, but May is. Because she's been asking. Yes, because the teacher is asking her. Yes, she is under pressure. Okay. So, uh, so the, the the teacher you want to change or to want to modify uh, motivate the others to participate right no 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 he, no no he doesn't want other students to participate right now because it is may's turn he doesn't want other students to provide the answer okay that's uh, what i want sorry. To <clears throat> thank you yes you're doctor. welcome sorry doctor uh, yes uh, i have to comment yes yes go ahead who is this Qasim Jalil, yes. Uh, did I tell your name? Did, did I tell your number? Yes, yes, uh, number four, number four. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yes, uh, in line uh, 36, when okay. uh, the learner uh, refused, reject, say, here uh -huh. the student initiated departure, and the teacher in the next line 37, when he noticed this departure, Yes. Uh, actually, he used a very uh, good tool yes. to warn students in a polite way. Yes. Uh, that, yes, he, he, is, he has to maintain the control inside the classroom. Yes. So 
he warned students in a polite way, in in very good way. May you have many voices in ironic teasing. Yes. You use ironic teasing as a tool to warn the students uh, not to repeat such uh, uh, things or departures again. Yes. I think. Yes, yes. Am I right or not? Well, I think that you are, uh, Yeah, you know, I, I'd go along with that, you know, interpretation that you have just provided. Yes, it's just uh, gently reminding other students that right now is not the time for you to participate. It's May's turn, so uh, she has to answer. Yes, in a sense, you can say that he wants to maintain, you know, control over the class. And because if, you know, the teacher does not, you know, have control in the classroom, may, may lose her turn. And it's going to have some pedagogical consequence for May. You know, the teacher, in a sense, is supporting May. And at the same time, you know, he is sort of controlling other students. He doesn't say to other students that you do not, you know, you are not allowed to participate in the classroom. No, he doesn't say that. He says that, you know, if you want to have participation in the classroom, you have to look at the timing. This is not the right time for you to participate after May has provided the answer, it is possible for you to join in to give your answer. Yes, you are right. Yes, I go along with that. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that yes. we are... You know, this is the first transcript. We have to move on to the second transcript, if you allow me. Okay. Can I move on to the second transcript? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. Going, okay. Yes, thank you very much because we have spent enough time on the first transcript, but of course we should have. So we have learned about address ratified here, unaddressed ratified here. We have learned something, respond with ironic teasing. We have learned that it is the teacher's primary responsibility to maintain control and to have participation in the classroom. We have learned that a teacher should not fly off the handle. He doesn't need to get angry to maintain the classroom, you know, atmosphere. Okay, so uh, the first example for respond with ironic teasing. Now we move on to the next example. I think that it is from the same classroom with the same teachers, okay? Now, what happens here is very interesting. It's just the beginning of the classroom, the teacher is taking attendance, and at the same time, the teacher is making some inquiries about people's or students' lives, okay? So the teacher is what? Taking attendance here. Okay, now let's see what happens here. Again, you have to remember that we are talking about maintaining control and allowing participate participation, striking a balance between uh, participation and control. We have to disallow departure if it is not the appropriate time. So, the beginning of the class, the teacher is making some inquiries, he's being very friendly, taking the attendance, and look what happens. In this conversation, the teacher, while the teacher is taking attendance, he notices that some of the students sitting in the back row are talking. So, this is an instance of departure. This is an instance of departure because the students, instead of listening to the teacher, are engaged in something not pedagogically legitimate. Okay, I'm going to read the dialogue. If you allow me just a sec, I have to turn the light on. I'll be back in a sec. I'm sorry.
<laughs> okay. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Can you yes, hear me? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. It's quite dark here. It's quite dark here. I have to turn the light on. How about in Iraq? Is it dark there now? No, no, we have lights. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. doctor. It's begun light. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's let's look at this dialogue again. So the beginning of the teacher, the teacher is making some inquiries and he notices that some naughty students sitting in the back row are talking about something. They are not, you know, oriented to the pedagogical purpose of the classroom at that moment. Again, you see that the teacher wants to maintain control, but at the same time, he doesn't want to be harsh on the students. He wants to do it, you know, in a sort of, you know, friendly manner. He doesn't want to be upset because if he gets upset, he is going to lose control of the classroom again. I'm going to read the dialogue for you. Listen very carefully. I hope that you have already studied that. He says, okay, so the teacher is talking. So he says, very nice, good. And, you know, then he notices that some of the students are talking. And he says, Frida. He calls to Frida. And Frida raises her hand. And the teacher says, so tell me, what are you and Jasmine gossiping, gossiping about over there? Okay, and Frida <laughs> laughs, dogs, kids. You see what's happening here? What's happening here? And let's go on. Uh, and the learners, kids, other learners laugh. Teacher one about dogs, and Frida says, yes, ask her if she works, and so on and so forth. So what happens again? Uh, having noticed other students are talking, not pedagogically oriented uh, to the agenda of the moment, the teacher says something quite interesting. It is again teasing, teasing the students. He says, so tell me what you are gossiping about over there. So as soon as, you know, the teacher produces that sentence, you know, he is sort of reinstating his control over the classroom again. And look what happens after that. This is very interesting again. You know, the teacher, by, by having uh, taken the control over the class, he asks Frida, some other questions so that you know she expresses her personal you know experiences personal feelings and so on and so forth so you see that at the beginning frida is not oriented to the pedagogical purpose of the classroom but because the teacher has produced something funny because the teacher is teasing the students by saying, so tell me what you are talking about or what you are gossiping about. The student is now oriented to the pedagogical purpose. And by providing, and the teacher asks other questions, okay, about your dogs, and Frida provides further question. Look, Frida provides further question. You know, further sentences, I'm sorry. So by by being more active in the classroom, the teacher is sort of getting control back and making Frida oriented to the pedagogical purpose of the moment. This is very interesting, very, very interesting. So again, we have got, you know, a balance originally you know, in the classroom, at the beginning of the classroom, you see that there was no balance because the teacher was doing something. He was oriented to his 
pedagogical purpose with some students sitting in the back row were engaged in talking about something not related to what happened in the classroom. The teacher did not like it, but he didn't fly off the handle. Okay, by saying something good, he got, he grabbed Frida's attention, and by asking further questions, the student got back into the classroom mentally. Uh, if you see it, this is a meaning and fluency context. Very interesting. Meaning and fluency context as we studied in Cedar House. Any comments? Any comments? <clears throat> About this one. Anybody want to say anything? Yes, doctor, thank you. Okay, let me find your name. Vahob, you are number 28. Thank, thank you, 28, thank you, doctor. Yes, okay, go ahead. So here, here the two students, Farida and uh, Jasmine, yes. have apparent, apparently engaged in side talk. Yes. That's, that's abandoning their rules as ratified participant in the whole yes. class. Yes. Interaction and becoming a bit standards. Yes. So, yes. So, 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 as a teacher, his role to uh, return or to engage them in participation, to be active in a, a class. Yes. To make the, to make the balance. Yes. He has to get back control of the classroom. Yes. 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 You are right. Yes. You are right. Yes, yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Mustafa Saad Hussein, let yes. me find, find your name first. You are number 12. Mustafa, can you hear me? Yes, doctor. Yes. Uh, number, okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mustafa, you got disconnected. I'm sorry. You to the deep Okay, you got disconnected. Can you try again? Try again. I'm very keen on hearing what you have got to say. Yep. No, unfortunately, Mustafa. Yes, doctor, please. Yes. You know, sh you know I think that we have to wait for Mustafa. It okay. is like the previous dialogue. You remember, it is not your turn. It is Mustafa's turn. Yes, Doctor, yes. Yes, go yes. ahead. Confessional outgoing activity, doubling their size conversations. Okay. Yes, Doctor. Yeah, you know what? Well, I didn't hear you because I heard your last word. Could you say it again, please? Oh, he got disconnected again. I'm sorry, Mustafa. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, who wants to? Yes, Doctor. Yes. Yes, Doctor. Yes, doctor. Yes. Yeah. Ali Mohsen, yes. and after that, Ibtisam. Okay, let me find your name, yes. Mohsen. Yes, uh, 23, uh, okay, doctor, yes. 23. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yes, yes, uh, the doctor, uh, the teacher used the Arabic here uh, because of the term is also reflected the personal, uh, the, the, in the, his treatment, sorry, reflected uh, in his treatment, Farid, a subject matter of sharing. Yes. 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 Okay, yes, yes. very very good and, 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 the, and the teacher the teacher uh, uh, and the teacher uh, asking about uh, personal life uh, personal life sorry and activities in the main classroom yes you're right yes By, um, yes asking some of the questions in this uh, instance. okay okay yes doctor. yes doctor. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much thank you, you. Know, thank you it. If to yes, some, yes, go ahead, yes, go ahead. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. In this, in this extract, uh, we see the teacher elicit the topic of Farida and Jasmine talk on the 
main classroom floor and yes. the preparation in the official task at hand uh, to to make to make a lot of participation and opportunity opportunity for the students uh, to uh, yes uh, to influence uh, their language yes you are absolutely right yes you are very good muted. Very Thank good you. points. Very good points. Yes. Yes, you are right. Yes, you are right. You know, I think that if Tissam has studied the paper very well, because he uses a lot of the words from the uh, pattern, Thank for example. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, Eidar Javad, go ahead. What's your number? Okay, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are right. Yes, yes, you are right. Yes, you are right. So in a sense, the teacher is very experienced. He you got muted. back control of the classroom and at the same time he uh, sort of uh, caused Frida to have his conversation right on the main site I mean in the classroom you know in a way you know this way the teacher could uh, sort of orient the student to what was happening in the classroom. This is actually what a teacher has to do. You know, we cannot, you know, let students talk things that are not real. And another st student is brought to a close and uh, the teacher resumes the attendance taking. He calls Farida's name and she raises her hand in response. At this point, instead of Proceeding with a more general inquiry about Farida's personal life, the teacher refers to her to her and Jasmine prior to the talk, line twenty uh, two hundred seventy three seventy four. Uh, so tell me, what are you and Jasmine gossiping about over there? Thus calling attention to the departure from the official ongoing activity. Here the teacher label and notice the departure. By labeling their sides uh, conversation gossiping rather than using the more uh, neutral talking, for example, teacher one characterizes the talk as not only less serious, in nature, but also as a kind of talk that is not typically associated with the classroom setting. In fact, there is a tinge of ironic teasing in teachers' one uh, use of the term, as uh, it is unlikely that the students were actually engaging in gossip in the common sense of talking about non-present others, the teacher's ironic use of the term is also reflected in his treatment of Farida and Jasmine's talk as a subject matter for sharing. As Kosib tends to focus on critically examining the personal lives, lives of others, it is ordinarily managed with delicacy, it is done in a hushed manner among uh, friends, mm -hmm. not shared with a large audience. Nevertheless, the teacher enlists the topic of Farida and Jasmine talk on the main classroom floor, appropriating it into the official task at hand. Thus, even though the teacher highlights the student's departure, from the ongoing class activity. He does so light-heartedly, uh, midly, 
mildly teasing the students for being engaged in a private conversation, yet promoting and validating the conversation as he uh, mainstreams sideways into a dominating conversation. Very good. Shall I continue? No, no. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. I enjoyed listening to you reading this paragraph. You articulated very well. You do read it better than I do. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very time. much. Okay, so I think that everybody quite uh, well understand this paragraph. It's very, very simple. It shows that the teacher uh, does a beautiful uh, management role in the classroom by gaining the control back from the students and at the same time uh, topicalizing what the students were talking as uh, something good to talk about in the classroom. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we are uh, sort of uh, short of time. You know, in the other class, they had problem. Okay, we couldn't finish reading the entire uh, 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 paper. You know, I think that we have to move uh, in a way that we are not ahead of the other class because then you have to read more than the other class. So for the next session, uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't see it a problem, we continue with this uh, paper, uh, reading from Invoke Learning Orientation. But if you think that you have understood this paper well, because other examples are along the same line. We can study the other paper. So what is your opinion? Should we continue studying this paper for the next session, or we begin studying the new paper that I have uploaded? Can you tell me? Uh, it's up to you, doctor, if you want to continue. continue. Okay. okay. Well, I think that, you know, uh, because the other class, you know, the other class, I've got it on Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. You know, we have not, you know, uh, completely covered the entire paper for reasons. They had a midterm and problems, so we had to uh, read half the paper. And here we have studied half the paper as well. But if you think, again, I'm asking you, tell me. If you think that we have to put it away, we start a new paper, well, I am with you because, well, it is okay with me. But if you think that we have to stop here and you can study the rest of it on your own, well, it is okay with me then. So what is your opinion? Uh, sorry, doctor. Mm. I think just uh, to stop here and uh, complete the next lecture because I think this uh, this uh, topic mm. is very important. I, 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 I generally interested in in in, in it. Okay. I get very interested. Yes, okay. it's very okay. important. And how to deal with the students' departure? Uh, Most of the teachers suffer from uh, such things. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's see what you say. A means. We study this paper. B means another paper. Please <laughs> tell me quick, quick, quicker, please. Hey, hey. <laughs> so B, please turn your microphones off, please. It is a departure from the classroom. Okay, quicker. You know, many of the students have not cast their vote. Okay. A means this paper, B means the other paper. Okay. Okay, you know, there are, the, uh, there are some students who have not provided the answer. Muhammad Ali Abdul Jalil, Muhammad Riaz, Yes, yes, doctor, I answer 
I answer, I chose A. Uh. <laughs> the second one, the second one in this list. I chose, I chose A. You know, but you know, uh, you know, as I can see from your answer, you know, most of yes, the students say that we study the other paper. Okay, now I'm sending you the answer. Okay, so 15 of the students said that we study, we continue studying this paper. And five of you, okay, shall I read their names? <laughs> okay, now unmuted. okay said that. Okay, five. Then. Okay, no. Yeah. Okay. No so, mention to my name, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so we are going to study from Invoke Learning Orientation next session. But remember, please study the second paper as well. If we finish this paper quickly, we can start the next paper, if it is okay with you. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. It was a very nice class. Thank you for your participation. I liked it very much. You are now muted. Excuse me, Doctor. Can you? Yes, thank you very much, Doctor. Okay, Doctor. Uh, in line 19, uh, I can.